Hey everyone, it's Flagfire. We're expecting a big announcement on Battlefield 1's open beta any day now, but a big question is, what exactly will be included in the beta? And it turns out it could be a lot. Electronic Arts and DICE have kept quiet about details concerning the beta, but the recent Battlefield 1 weapons trailer may lend some clues about what players can expect. The entire trailer takes place on the St. Quentin Scar map, the same map we saw in the game's closed alpha. However, there's quite a bit of new stuff, and you can think of this as the 32nd What Did You Miss? Among them, the MG-15 and a suppressor light machine gun, the Mauser 1916 semi-automatic rifle, potentially the Stanschutze Hellriegel submachine gun, a light Rolls-Royce Jeep-type vehicle, the Remington Model H semi-automatic rifle, the Granatenwerfer 16 mortar, the Browning Auto 5 semi-automatic shotgun, trench club takedowns, the Mauser 1918 Tigewehr anti-tank rifle, rideable horses, a tank-mounted mortar, and the Webley Fosbury revolver, as well as dynamite. Fellow YouTuber Westy noticed a crate near the map's cathedral ruins that appears to contain the aforementioned Tigewehr, indicating more powerful weapons in Battlefield 1 will take the form of Battlefield pickups, similar to previous games. DICE also seems to have fleshed out some of the class builds since weapons have more details. For example, the Lewis gun here has a low weight tag and the Shea Rigotti appears to be direct from the factory. There is, of course, no confirmation any of these weapons of war will be included in the beta, but the inclusion of them in the recent weapons video makes me wonder if this really was an unofficial beta teaser. On top of this, Battlefield 1 senior producer Alexander Grondel teased fans on Twitter the other day saying, quote, We just played the open beta. Almost there now. Some new fun stuff in there, I think. End quote. Grondel's cheeky comment might mean what we've seen in the new trailer will be included in Battlefield 1's open beta. The point of any pre-release build is, of course, to test the game so the inclusions of new weapons would make logical sense and should result in a more stable product at launch. Sadly, there is no sign of a new map. DICE has allegedly made some changes to the game following feedback from the alpha, so it will be interesting to see if the beta build reflects this. The open beta is rumored to release around or shortly after Gamescom, which is set for August 17th through the 21st. Be sure to subscribe here for the latest updates to Battlefield 1, and of course, chat with me on social media like Twitter and Facebook. In the meantime, what do you think will be included in the open beta? Tell me in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Thanks for watching.